Hi guys, welcome to my video. I'm doing this a little bit differently just because I didn't really have like a beginning to my video, my vlog. So I just want to say this is my very, oh, this is my last week of work. This is the week of my last day. Um, so enjoy. If you didn't know, I quit my job. And I did it on a whim almost. I kind of just was like, I had it up to here and I was like, I can't do it anymore. And I just went in there and I was like, ah, my last day is the end of the month. So there's, I'll have um, a snippet of that. I'm so excited I did it. I did it, there's an end point. I won't be worried. I did it twice. So I'll show you both of those. Well, I did it. And I don't know why I was so anxious this morning because I don't know what she was gonna say. She just, she's not gonna yell at me. So, all is well. Cause I did one where I was just staying on Sundays and then I was like, I can't do that. Um, and then, so also if you guys didn't know, I um, just really, really, really loved my job. <laughs> I'm not proud of being a bartender and I'm not proud of the, this job and <laughs> I'm unhappy. Uh, I don't want to go there and so my body is like physically rejecting that place. This is necessary today. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. At the end there, I was at my my wits end i'm a bartender i'm now um a little over i'm over a year sober i just couldn't be around anymore i couldn't do it anymore so i i bowed out enjoy my video here's my last week of work we'll see you at the end <sighs> so i i know that's why but it's like i can't Okay, I don't have enough scrunchies. Um, I was having a really good time. I haven't even finished my health and fresh yet. It's almost two o'clock and I think I started this at, I don't even know, one, but I've just been fuming. You probably heard a little bit of me bitching to my mom on the phone. I'm stressed out. I'm quitting my job this week. And um, I just am a bartender, nothing special. It's not like some crazy job, but I do work for a really small bar. And so, you know, everyone, all hands on deck basically at all times. So them losing me is hard because I am on our all hands on deck. I usually fill in and whatever, whenever. <sighs> so I usually work Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. But my last Sunday was this past Sunday. And my last day is this coming Thursday. It's currently Tuesday. So they just texted me and asked me if they could switch my last day to being ne this next Sunday, which is like a big holiday weekend. I just know that if, oh my God, I just, I imagined myself working that day and I imagined, you know, like where I kind of feel like the end is there and then it keeps getting taken away. It's big for me, but I feel bad because I'm a loyal person and it's, that's just me and I like to help and be needed, I guess. Like that's the only positive that would have come of it is if of finances. But honestly, there's some things more important than dollar bills and that's my mental health and um, my ability to say no. So that's all. Let's go into my garage. Okay, so I have a lot of leftover wood here from when I did house projects. So I just need something raw. Maybe even something just like this. Ooh, hello, hi, ow, it's this one. I don't mind that it's a little oblong. That's what I want it to look like. Okay. I have this idea. I think it's gonna work. It's gonna be just silly, you know. 
All right, so I forgot to record, but here's what I'm doing so far. Ooh, that. This is my craft room in my basement. I am making a stencil that says boat keys. I'm fucking up the E right now. All right, that'll work. I, uh, I'm making this for one of my regulars because, like I said, my bar that I work on is on a lake, and he is... <laughs> He's, he loses everything and he lost his boat keys this year and I made a really big deal about it, like making fun of him and stuff. So I thought it would be funny to make him like a boat key holder. Um, so I have this old piece of wood that we just went outside to f and got and I sanded the edges a little bit. They probably could do better, but I'm not gonna do any better. All right, so usually with these, like with like vinyl and stuff, you would do it the opposite and just keep the letters. But now I'm gonna, I took out the letters and kept the outside. And I'm going to use that as a stencil and I'm gonna use this special marker over that I have over here. All right, so you go like this. You take this as transfer paper and you put, you try not to get all this extra stuff. And you take it like so. You put it like over top of that. And then you take one of these, I don't have like, there's like a roller, but I don't have that. So I just have this thing that came with the Cricut. Wipe it like that. So it goes on to, and then you wanna peel off this white part. We're doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we're taking it on here, on this piece of wood. I think we wanna use this as the front. Do we care? Not really. And then we're gonna try and make this as even as possible, like that. Good enough for me. Like I said, it's just kind of like a gag gift, this is. And then you wanna, that's how you transfer it onto here. And we're good, okay. So we take this, all right? And you can reuse this transfer paper, so I just put it back onto here. And I have these on the letters on my finger. And then I have this special marker over here. Let me just find it. Okay. So it's this marker, and if this is a heat activator, it's called a scorch marker. Okay, so once you finish filling in your stencil, what you do now is you just take this and peel it off. So if you can see, like it kind of says boat keys, like that. So then we take our heat gun, which mine's covered in resin, because I use it for that. And you're gonna just go like this, and just watch it change. What are you eating, though? Well, it bled a little bit, but you can kind of tell it says, you can kind of see it says boat keys. So that's all, it's so easy. So I have one rag on, one hand, rag hand on, so. Let's hope I don't get the other one dirty. Am I using the right type of brush? Probably not. Am I doing this correctly? I don't know. This is how I've all, this is what I do. This is how I do it. That's all. Just like so. Like that. Yeah. Boat keys, bitch. So what you guys probably, what you guys probably don't know is that I have an Etsy shop on the internets and I sell like shirts and shit that I make. So I always have like an array of t-shirts and sh sweatshirts and I have sweatshirts that I've tie dyed that I haven't done anything with. So this sweatshirt that I've tie dyed and I got bleached and then tie dyed, um, I'm going to give away as a gift so I was watching Sarah Baska's video the other day and she had a t-shirt on that said MILF. Man, I love fishing. And my ex-boyfriend's entire aesthetic of life is fishing. So I'm going to make him a shirt that says, do we like this font? You can't tell me, but I think it's good. So I cut, I cut my vinyl. Then, cut off that one little inch. And what did I say, a little over five? Perfect. All right, and then we'll take this piece that I just cut. I'm moving you guys all around this basement. I put it on this mat, 
which you guys can't see, but just know I'm putting on the mat, my very dirty, need to be cleaned mat. You just press that and then it cuts it. Easy as that. And then in the meantime, I'm going to, I already have my um, heat press heated up. It's already heated to the desired temperature. All right, so I fold it in half and I put a crease in it so I can find the middle part. So it's folded in half. I just heated it so you'll be able to see the middle crease. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? And then I'm just going to peel away all of the, you want to leave the letters and we're going to peel away all of this excess. All right, cool, 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 cool. So you see it's like the sticky side is like backwards and if you put it on the shirt, it will be forwards. Man, I love fishing. I love this shirt, I don't care. And then really you can just peel it right off. But it's kind of hot. Man, I love to fish. I love fishing. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Like I said, if he doesn't like it, he can suck it. I'm gonna show you what I've done. All right, so I made the t that sweatshirt. I then packaged the sweatshirt in like my little things that I do. So I gotta pick that upstairs with these. And then I had the boat key, which the boat looks fucked up, but I don't care. I think it's funny. And on the back I wrote, Never lose your keys again, and then 22, and then it says love Michelle, and then I put a little hook on the back. So, and I painted this diagonal line on it. I tried to speed up the heating process, or the drying process by using a heat gun, so it kind of bubbled a little bit, but I think that gives it character. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm getting ready for work. Um, today is a Wednesday, I'm making myself a PB&J. This is my last Wednesday shift. I know I had like a bit of a mental breakdown yesterday, but I'm definitely overreacted, but that's just me. I just get overwhelmed, like I hate letting people down and saying no is a very foreign, I just don't say no a lot. So whenever I'm like learning to say no, it like, it fucking freaks me out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna hurt them. I'm gonna make them upset and whatever. I was like, I just can't, like literally I can't do it. Like. So I'm bringing um, my classic PB&J with my favorite peanut butter in the entire world. And then um, for lunch yesterday, I made that like egg roll pork bowl. So I'm just gonna bring that. And then this is the sauce for it. Um, and then I always bring a lot of food. I don't normally touch like half of it, but I get food fright. Um, and I'm bringing watermelon. So I always bring a lot of food with me to work. I like food. I like to make sure I have food. And this way, I won't like turn it. it I won't turn to potato chips at work, or I will try not to turn to potato chips at work. So yeah, last Wednesday, baby, last Wednesday, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go to work, and I might record, I'll probably record there, in the back, by myself. See you then. Hi, I'm off work. Oh, man. I don't like it there. But now I only have a one shift left, guys. One shift left, yay! I'm so excited, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Hello! Hi, I'm home from work. Um, it was all right, I guess. But I did go to the store after work. Okay, so I didn't really get anything incredible. I just got like my boss um, is obsessed with Lifesaver mints. So I always say just like Hansel and Gretel, like you'll be able to find Anita if you just follow the trail of um, mint wrappers. So I got her a big bag of mint wrappers, or mints, not mint wrappers. There are mint wrappers in here, but in the wrappers there's mints. So I got her some of those. One of my regulars, uh, she likes dark chocolate and peanut butter. So I got her some Reese's dark chocolate. I got my uh, bosses also just like a $15 gift card to Starbucks. Uh, another one of my regulars, I'm giving him solo cups cause it's kind of like a joke. So I'm gonna give him that. They're all gag gifts, you know? I'm also buying like cigarettes for a couple of my friends. So I'm just gonna wrap everything now. Hey cats, I bought all of these. So this is like a dark chocolate or chocolate chocolate chip. 
oatmeal raisin, sugar, and chocolate chip cookie. And these are like sugar sprinkle cookies, which is my favorite. So I got those for everyone to share tomorrow. I might, nah, I was gonna, I was thinking about putting them on my own tray, but then that means I have to bring that tray home with me. Like I have to like transport it and like frick that. Frick that, frick, mother fricker. So that's it. I'm gonna make some dinner now and relax. Um, and then tomorrow maybe I'll take, tomorrow morning. Oh my God, I just got nervous. I just can't believe after tomorrow, it's this time tomorrow, I will not be an uh, employee at Jose's anymore. And that's crazy. Wow, what am I gonna do? But what would I do? What would I wear? What am I gonna wear? Gotta look cute. Cause people be wanting pictures and shit, you know? Hey! I wanna show you my outfit. I made a sh this shirt last night on a whim. It says, my name is Chuck. I don't think you'll be able to see the back. No, I doubt it. It says, my name is Chuck and I, and I have a truck. <laughs> it's a, like an inside joke with my customers and I wear this little thing. Last night and I have some bell bottoms on, some flares. Last day. I also have my, we need to form a calming circle. Cause we do, we do, we need Jesus. Like what my bosses did. And we're getting pizza. I also got a card from everyone and a bunch of donuts, which we've already destroyed. But this, if you're ever in Canton, this place right here, that, or in Dover, I guess. This place right here is so good. These have the best, the best donuts. I'm telling you, I'm telling you what. And this peanut butter jelly one, dang, that's good. Just a lot of sugar. Just sugar in it up. I'm almost done. I want to say, Oh my god, I'm so excited. Better, like, that one's going to be so the, good. The brownie was sold yeah. out, and then like, by the time I got through the line, they had more. Mm -hmm. So it's my last day today. I got a bunch of cards. It is very, very nice. This wasn't something I showed. And this one was signed by like all of the people, like a lot of the customers and stuff. And then um, just other people, fun. And good times, very, very, uh, I was just telling my mom. I think my biggest thing is like, I have such a hard time with love. I literally stole, oh no. Well, I gotta go back to Jose's cause I took the knife. <laughs> Anyways, I can't eat that. I don't want to eat that. This is what I want to eat. Shane Dawson, are you watching? Because we just got a crumble in Canton and I'm about to try these for the first time. Okay, so this is vanilla crumb cake featuring golden Oreo. This is what I'm about to, this what this, this one is right here. Uh oh, shit. Um, it's a cookie with white chocolate chip and golden Oreo cookie pieces topped with swirls of vanilla cream cheese frosting, crumble golden Oreo pieces, and a mini or golden Oreo cookie. And I don't know if you've ever had the golden, golden Oreos, but these are, they're so good. I'm going to put this over here so I can catch the crumbs. Catch the crumbs. We gotta catch the crumbs. Catch the crumbs. We gotta catch the crumbs. Catch the crumbs. We gotta catch the crumbs. Here. Ho, ho. Okay. Are we catching the crumbs? Tis, tis, tis. And like their whole shtick is like the middles. They're like a little like not. And these have been in the refrigerator. So, but they're supposed to be like a little like under baked. Mmm. Mm, I have mac I have a white chocolate piece. Wow. I've eaten nothing but sugar today. I've barely eaten anything today. Well, when I have. All right, well. What am I going to do now?
I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now.